this video we are going to solve a problem from functions of complex variables and now in this video I am going to show that the function u is equal to 4xy minus 3x plus 2 is harmonic and also I am going to find out the analytic function. So what is given u is given as this is 4xy minus 3x plus 2. So we have to show that u is harmonic. So we have to prove that u satisfies the Laplace equation. So, what is Laplacian equation? So, Laplace equation is nothing but dou square u by dou x square plus dou square u by dou y square is equal to 0. For that, I have to make a derivative with respect to x. That is dou u by dou x is equal to. Here, x is equal to 1. What remains? 4y. And x is equal to 1. 3 remains and constant is 0. And again, I am going to differentiate with respect to x that is dou square u by this is dou x square here there are no x terms with respect to x y is 0 and constant is again 0 and next we have to make a derivative with respect to y dou u by dou y see here y is equal to 1 what remains 4x and these two are constants and next one dou square u by so this is dou square u by dou y square so with respect to y x is 0 and therefore, we say that the Laplace equation is nothing but, see here, the Laplace equation is nothing but, this is dou square u by dou x square plus this is dou square u by dou y square. So, dou square u by dou x square is 0 and this is 0, so which is equal to 0. Therefore, we got dou square u by dou x square plus dou square u by dou y square is equal to 0. Therefore, we can conclude that u, the given u is equal to that is 4xy minus 3x plus 2 is harmonic. So, if it satisfies the Laplace equation, we say that this is harmonic. And again, I am going to find out the analytic function. For finding the analytic function, so, for finding the analytic function, I am using Milne's-Thompson method. So, according to the Milne's-Thompson method, see here, I am using which method? This is Milne's-Thompson method. So, according to the Milne's-Thompson method, according to the Milne's-Thompson method, we have, see here, f of z is equal to, this is u plus i into v. So, if I make a derivative with respect to x, so, f dash of z is equal to this is dou u by dou x plus i into this is dou v by dou x. Now using CR equations. So what are CR equations? Cauchy Riemann equations. So I am using the CR equations. So according to the CR equations we have u x is equal to v y and u y is equal to this is minus v x. So which means dou u by dou x is equal to this is dou v by dou y and again dou u by dou y is equal to minus dou v by dou x. These two are the CR equations. Now we have only u value. So we, we have to transform this v as u. So in place of dou v by dou x, I am writing minus dou u by dou y. So in place of dou v by dou x, I am using the cauchy riemann equation to transform in terms of u. See here then f dash of z. So, f dash of z is transformed as this is dou u by dou x. So, in place of dou v by dou x, I am writing minus dou u by dou y. This is minus dou u by dou y i times. So, we have both the values ready. We have dou u by dou x value and dou u by dou y value also. See here, according to the problem, so we have f dash of z is equal to what is dou u by dou x? Dou u by dou x is nothing but 4y minus 3 minus i times of dou u by dou y is nothing but 4x. So, in uh, Millie's Thompson method, we have to replace. See here, now I am replacing. So, replace x by z and y by 0. So, if I do so, then f dash of z becomes, so f dash of z becomes, so, so this is 0. So, this will be, if you observe, so if I keep y 0, this will be minus 3 minus i times of this is 4z. So, now see here, f dash of z is equal to minus 3 minus i 4z. So, now if I integrate on both sides with respect to z, see here, if I integrate on both sides with respect to z, then it will be f of z is equal to, so f of z is equal to, so 
this will be minus 3 into integral dz is nothing but z minus i 4. So, for integral z is nothing but z square by 2 plus some c. So, f dash of z is equal to this is minus 3z and if I cancel this for 2 times, this is minus 2 i z square plus 2. So, our answer f of z, our answer f of z is equal to minus 3z and this is minus i times of 2z square plus c. So, which is the required analytic function. So, this is the required analytic function so this is how we have to use millis thompson method and this is also so simple let me explain you once again so u is given so i made uh, double derivative with respect to x and double derivative with respect to y so i substituted in the laplace equation so it satisfies the laplace equation then we say that u is harmonic so for finding the analytic function, I am using Milne's Thompson method f of z is equal to u plus iv. If I make a derivative with respect to x throughout, then f dash of z is equal to dou u by dou x plus i times of dou v by dou x. Now I am using CR equations. So we don't have this v, v value as u is given, real part is given. So in place of dou v by dou x, I am writing minus dou u by dou y. So after writing minus dou u by dou y, so we have both the values ready here. Dou u by dou x value is nothing but 4y minus 3 and dou u by dou y value is 4x. So according to the millis thompson method, we will replace x by z and y by 0 and after transforming so i made uh, integration on both sides and after that we got f of z as minus 3z minus i times of 2z square plus c and which is our required analytic function hopefully you all understand please if you understand you know what to do please pass it on to your friends subscribe to this channel and have a look at my next video too thank you so much